This video will explain the basic physiology behind determining somebody's blood type. First, we're going to need a patient. Then we're going to draw that person's blood and divide it into three samples. The last thing we're going to need are antibodies. We're going to use some of the same antibodies that can be found in human blood. Anti-A, anti-B, and anti-RH antibodies. We will be adding one of each of these to our three samples of the patient's blood. If any of these antibodies are capable of attacking the blood, then we know that that patient has the antigen to which that antibody can attack. In this example, let's say that only the anti-A antibodies cause this patient's blood to coagulate. Let's look under the microscope and pretend and see what's going on. If the anti-A antibodies are attacking this patient's blood, that must mean the patient has the A antigen on the surface of their red blood cells. But if the anti-B antibodies do not cause coagulation, these antibodies don't stick to the patient's red blood cells, and therefore the patient must not have the B antigen. Similarly, if the anti-RH antibodies do not cause coagulation, the patient does not have the RH antigen. This patient would therefore be blood type A negative. Next, we would like to determine what types of blood we can give this patient who has A negative blood. To do that, we must consider what antibodies this patient would have in their bloodstream to begin with. These are the same types of antibodies that we used as tools to determine the patient's blood type. Because this patient has A negative blood, that means they have the A antigen. They must therefore not have anti-A antibodies already in their blood plasma. Otherwise, their blood would have already been coagulated. And because this patient is alive, we know that's not the case. They would, however, have anti-B antibodies. Those antibodies in the patient's blood plasma would not attack the patient's own red blood cells. This patient would not have been born with anti-RH antibodies, because nobody is. But an RH negative individual could start making anti-RH antibodies if they got exposed to the RH antigen. This is fairly rare. Nevertheless, we've come to the conclusion that the antibodies present in this patient's blood are anti-B. For this reason, we cannot give the patient type B blood, because the anti-B antibodies that they have would attack that donor blood. Similarly, we cannot give this patient AB blood, because AB blood also has the B antigen, and the patient's blood plasma would attack it. We should also not give this patient any type of RH positive blood, because that would cause the patient to start making anti-RH antibodies, and that is not considered safe unless you're in a zombie apocalypse type triage situation. Therefore, we can give this patient, as always, an exact match. In this case, A negative. But if we ran out of that blood type, we could also give this patient O negative blood, because type O negative blood does not contain the B antigen and would therefore be safe. In fact, we can always give type O negative because that's the universal donor. It has no antigens, and therefore nobody's blood plasma would contain antibodies that could attack those red blood cells. Let's see if you can do one. In this case, the patient's blood is coagulated when we add anti-A antibodies to it. It also coagulates when we add anti-B antibodies to it, and when we add 
anti-RH antibodies to it. What is this patient's blood type? Yes, it is AB positive. And in this case, which of the following blood types could we give this person? We can give them all of the blood types because this patient has all three antigens and therefore must not have any of the antibodies. Therefore, anybody's blood type would be safe to give this person. They are the universal recipient. Let's try another patient. In this instance, the anti-A antibody does not cause coagulation, but the anti-B antibodies do cause coagulation, as do the anti-RH antibodies. What is this patient's blood type? Yes, they are B positive. Based off of that, what antibodies do you think they would have in their bloodstream? Yes, they would have anti-A. They would not ever produce anti-B or anti-RH. Based off of that, what types of blood could we give this patient? Yes, we can give an exact match, B positive. But we can also give O positive, because that does not have the A antigen. We could also give B negative and O negative because those do not contain the A antigen either. Let's do one more. In this instance, only the anti-RH antibodies cause coagulation. Based off of that, what is this patient's blood type? Yes, they are O positive. Knowing that, what antibodies would they have in their bloodstream? Yes, they would have anti-A, and anti-B antibodies. They would never produce anti-RH antibodies since those would attack their own blood type. Based off of that, what type or types of blood could we give this patient in a transfusion? Yes, we could give them an exact match, O positive, but we can also give them O negative. Neither of those blood types contain either the A antigen or the B antigen. Neither of those antigens would be safe to give. Definitely not both at the same time. So that wraps up how to take somebody's blood type and what sort of blood types you can give in a transfusion.